Sean Tracy coming to you today, not from my basement, but from the Alberta oil sands. I got a little behind with the new channel updates because, as some of you who have been following me for a while know, out of every 28 days, I only actually get 12 where I'm available to film videos because of my job. So, last days off, I was getting used to the new setup and I was learning the new editing software, and then I kind of turned around and bam, fly day was here. I had to head back to the other side of the country again. So I didn't actually get as much filmed ahead of time as I had hoped, but that should all be caught up now this turnaround. I'm getting ready to fly back in this Tuesday and start delivering more fun videos to you guys. But in the meantime, I thought instead of leaving you guys hanging, I'd give you a little bit of an update on the upcoming content coming to the channel and also to ask you some opinions. So right off the bat, if you really enjoy the channel, I highly urge you to check out the new social media accounts for the channel where I will be constantly updating between videos. You can catch me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at Tracy's Basement with no apostrophe. And there I'll be sharing all kinds of info on upcoming videos, fun photos of what I've been up to or what I've picked up lately, and whatever other nerdy stuff I think you guys might enjoy or whatever you want to talk about, because I always love to hear from you. There's also a new YouTube tab on the Facebook page that shows my most recent videos, so that's a great way to keep up with what's current in the channel. And I definitely encourage you guys to check out those links in the description box and in the video itself. And please follow those accounts to keep up to date on what's happening in Tracy's basement at all times and let me hear from you. So what's coming up? Well, first of all, my husband was out on a pop run for me the other day while I'm out of town and he picked up the collector's edition of Street Fighter V. So I'm definitely going to do an unboxing of that when I come home. It looks like it has a really cool Ryu statue in it, and as well as some other stuff, so I'm really excited to open that up. And I'm also going to do some game capture of it with some commentary, so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like, what it plays like. Plus you'll get the added satisfaction of watching me, a complete scrub, playing a fighting game. <laughs> Uh, fighting games, totally super fun, but I absolutely suck at them, and I almost always get demolished. My husband Jason takes it easy on me sometimes, but then I get cocky and mouth off, and then he puts me in my place in the next fight, so it should be a pretty good time. And if these gaming bits go well, I may actually do a lot more of them. And what will you guys think of a Dragon Ball video? Jason sent me a pic the other day showing two Dragon Ball statues that we ordered that just arrived in the mail. And we have a few different Dragon Ball collectibles, Master Stars, Figure Arts, a couple of DXFs, uh, some Pops, which I showed in my enormous Funko haul a really long time ago. I would love to do reviews on some, if not all, of these things, but as always, let me know. Tell me in the comment section below if you would be interested in that. I'm probably going to do a video on some of the NECA video game repaint line figures that we've managed to collect, and I might even mix in some gameplay footage of me playing those old games because that would definitely be a laugh. Those games were so freaking hard, and some of them were just plain bad. Like, the old uh, Jason and Freddy games, man, were they just awful. I mean, we played the crap out of them, but they were just so bad. But just like old horror movies, sometimes it's bad in a good way. Come to think of it, what would you guys think of maybe reviewing some old bad horror movies and showing off some different horror collectibles that we've had on display? I've been interested in toying around with the idea of doing a horror segment. We love old horror movies in this house, especially the so bad it's good stuff, so I'd really love to know what you guys think about that. Oh, and of course there's going to be a ton more Funko and unboxings. I've got a couple of boxes that are still on their way, uh, like Marvel Collector Core and Loot Crate, and I've amassed quite a pile of pops that I never even got a chance to get around to yet, so expect definitely a lot of pops in the near future. I haven't been slowing down at all because I'm just crazy and you guys know that. <laughs> and I'm finally going to get around to a request that I've been asked to do by you guys about a million times by now. I've been putting it off for a long time now until the basement was at least semi-finished, but I promise March will have a Funko Pop collection video. I promise. I'm also going to label some of my favorite pops from the collection as I'm doing that because I know you guys love that kind of information. And that's all I can really fill you in with for now. If there's anything you guys would like to see, any comments or suggestions, please fill me in in the comment section below and get a hold of me on my social media. And do not forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Tracy's Basement, where I will be constantly updating with information on upcoming videos. Thanks for listening, guys. Bye!